welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm joined by a very, very special guest. I'm sure you all know who he is. It's Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV, the biggest fan channel in the world. Robbie, thanks for taking the time to join me. You are? <laughs> are we? Yeah, I suppose. I didn't yeah, say best, right. Robbie. I said the biggest. <laughs> like that, like that. Well done, well done. Love that, love that. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good, man. I'm yeah, good. Man. Um, looking forward to the game Friday. Yeah, too, too right, mate. I mean, Liverpool fans have got a bit of a problem in it. The last direct train to Liverpool leaves at nine, uh, seven minutes past nine, which is a is bit it? of a pisser. Um, but we can get a train at 11 o'clock that gets us into Liverpool at 5.30am if we want, with a three-hour stopover at Manchester's train stations. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? I mean, whatever happened to the... I remember back in the day, they used to put special trains on for these games. And you know what? And funny enough, in, in other countries... Like, if this game was being played in Germany and that, that's the sort of thing they'd do. They'd have a, a train laid on to get fans back. But over here, unfortunately, TV rules and... Uh... It's terrible, isn't it? Well, listen, um, yeah. we've played you once this season already. I'm just, what was the score again? Do you remember? I can't remember, man. I you forgot. What was it again? I think it was 4-0. <laughs> I think it was 4-0. I'm just saying. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, uh... Our worst performance this season. Was it? It was absolutely, yeah, it was terrible. To be fair, on the road this season, um, we've been very poor. And I thought that day, you know, it, it epitomised how we've been playing on the road. Well, it was the worst. I mean, because we were very ill-prepared. Uh, we just didn't set up right against you guys. You tore us apart, you know. So um, it was a very embarrassing defeat. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I know that, we're not taking Arsenal for granted, but Liverpool in an attacking centre in great form at the moment. Now, you played three at the back against us last time, didn't you? Um, yeah. And I know the last couple of games you've been sort of playing that four-two-three-one with Awobi, Ozil, Sanchez and Lacazette up top. Um, mm -hmm. Is that what we're likely to see from Arsenal on Friday night? I don't know, you know. <laughs> you never know what Arsenal Wenger's going to do from game to game, but I get the feeling he could go back to that three. Um, because the four hasn't really been working either. The, you know, uh, when the fullbacks have been bombing on, that then means that instead of having three left at the back, you only got two. <laughs> so, and against Liverpool and the way uh, Liverpool attack at pace and that, um, I'm not sure if four at the back will be advisable against Liverpool. I think maybe the three at the back will be better. Um, the only thing is on when we played you the first time is we. We played three at the back, but we we were just all over the place. We there was no discipline to how we play. Now, if we if we're more disciplined at the back this time, um, you know, then that will set us in in good stead. And do you know what? I mean, everybody's kind of writing us off for that game, but I've got a little bit of confidence that we could do all right because at home this season, it's been a real contrast with Arsenal. That away from home, we've been very very poor, but at home. We've been pretty strong, apart from the game against Manchester United, which obviously it was a poor performance defensively. Offensively, we was very good, but defensively, we were poor. Um, but we did have 33 shots on goal. So you can see that we will try and attack. And apart from that game, though, we've won every single game at home. So home's been not really, hasn't been the problem. However, we haven't been playing fluent football this season in, in any games. Really? And... and what what can we expect then? I think, you know, Liverpool fans, I've spoken to a few different types of Liverpool fan and one of them I was speaking to yesterday thought we were going to play a try and play a possession game against you. I personally think we should be playing a counter-attacking game against you, trying to get you to overcommit and then hit you with our pace. Will Arsenal yeah. just play the way they always do? Is there going to be a defensive mindset from Arsenal or is it control the game, try and score the goals? I, I don't think it'll be... I don't think we'll have a defensive mindset at home. Um, at home... We'll be, and I hope we're not defensive because I think if we are defensive, we'll get beaten by you guys. I think how we need to play is how we played against Tottenham. Um, Tottenham came to Arsenal um, about four or five weeks ago. They were on great form. They were playing really well as well, tearing teams apart, putting four past teams and stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, Arsenal that. on that, that day. That was, happened to us as well, Robbie. We got demolished <laughs> by them. Yeah, Arsenal, Arsenal on that day were very brave. Right from the start of the game, they were on the front foot, they closed down, um, and they really went at Tottenham. Uh, and they were disciplined at the back, but they really took the game to Tottenham. 
And I think to get any joy against Liverpool, we've got to do the same thing. I don't think we can be defensive because I think offensively Liverpool are just too strong. So you have to get at Liverpool, um, test Liverpool's defence, which, you know, has had, had problems uh, sometimes this season. And I think that's our best bet. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, actually. Liverpool have now kept 13 clean sheets out of the last 24. Um, does seem to be a little bit of a move in the right direction. The problem is when we can see goals, we can see a lot of goals in the same game. You know, yeah. we've conceded like five against City, four against Tottenham, three against Watford, three against Sevilla. Other than that, we've only conceded seven goals at home. And, and away from home, we've we've racked up the same, if not more, points. So we're doing better away from home. Um, I mean, stats can be deceiving because I saw some stat the other day where Arsenal uh, have kept the most amount of clean or second We've got the second best record for clean sheets, right? In the Premier League, I was like, "Have we?" <laughs> Not the way we've been defending. I think recently, especially with us, we've been defending poorly. But going forward, we've always got a chance. Um, we've got players. I think you know, just like you guys, have obviously got Salah and Mane and Firmino and guys like that. We've also got. Some players that, you know, Lacazette, I've been very impressed with this season. And I think he'll be a very, very important player in this game. Robbie, uh, how's, he, how's he fitting into the side, Lacazette? I think he's fitted in really well. I mean, the, the only uh, myth, the only, sorry, the only uh, thing that's been driving fans crazy is why hasn't he been, you know, playing full 90 minutes in games and things like that. Now, with Giroud being out, because Giroud done his hamstring the other night against West Ham, he'll be out of the game. Um... I think you'll see Lacazette do a full 90 minutes in this game. He'll be chomping at the bit because the other day when he got taken off, he didn't look happy. Um, he'll be chomping at the bit. And um, I, if he plays well, you know, he, he's a poacher. He's a goal scorer. There's also, um, you know, Alexis Sanchez owes the team a big performance. He, he's been very average this season. Yeah, Alexis. I was going to ask about Sanchez next, Robbie. I mean, Ian Wright's come out, hasn't he, in the press and, and said that he's sort of been down in tools. Um, is that the impression that you're getting as well? Or I think that's a bit I think that's a bit harsh by Wright. I don't think he's down tools, but I think that he, I, I almost look at a player that's trying too hard. So, I think he's obviously frustrated. He wanted to leave. But it's almost like he's trying too hard in games and he's forcing it too much and then He's giving the ball away a lot. You know, I think there's I don't think there's anybody in our team who gives the ball away as much as him. And if you give the ball away against Liverpool, they're down the other end. So um he needs a big game. But he's the type of player that if he has a big game, and I remember you saying he ain't worth nothing, but <laughs> it's a I had to get that back in. He's the type of player if he has a big game. That's the reason well, every uh, Arsenal fan hates me. <laughs> and Chelsea and uh, you're not liked in London are you no not really I don't really show my face very often <laughs> don't worry we, we, no, no, we're, we're alright we, 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 we look after you but um, you know I think uh, Alexis owes us a big game he really does owe us a big game and Mesut Ozil as well has really been on form recently so if those guys for me for Arsenal we've got to defend better than what we've been doing recently um it might suit us, actually, as well, the fact that you guys will come on to us because all the teams we've been playing recently, they've just put everybody behind the ball. I mean, that's what our problem's been in recent games. We've been un unable to break down teams. Um, we know that Liverpool are not going to come and, and defend. It's going to be an open attacking game. So that might suit Arsenal as well. Um, but it's going to be interesting. What about the defence then, Robbie? How, what weaknesses have you got? You've mentioned that a couple of times, but you never really mentioned weaknesses. I mean, <laughs> Liverpool defending set pieces has always been a bit of a weakness of ours over the last few yeah. years. Um, other than that, <laughs> we seem to be OK, apart from the centre-backs, which is the main problem. Um, yeah, the, pro the, the problem with Arsenal, Arsenal is that Arsenal's problem is we've got good defenders. Um, you know, we have good defenders. But the organisation, the concentration... It's just not been there this season. When when those when those defenders are concentrated, when Mustafi, Koscielny, Bellerin, Monreal are concentrating, uh, and by the way, Monreal's been excellent this season. He's been the only one, really. But the other ones seem to always have a little mistake in them. Um, and, it, and that's what's been costing us. There's, there's nothing wrong with them as defenders, but their concentration levels have been appalling. I mean, the game against Manchester United it was the defenders that threw the game away with ridiculous mistakes. All three goals handed to 
Manchester United on a plate. So, um, you know, that's been the problem. Concentration and stupid mistakes. If they can be disciplined and really put in a disciplined performance, then, you know, we can have a good defence. But I think the defenders... Um, and then also, we've had a problem with uh, giving the ball away in midfield. Granit Xhaka has been guilty of that. And also, as I said, Alexis Sanchez as well. So, it's discipline, really. Are you expecting to see Granit Xhaka and Wilshire play together again? Yeah, I think they will because uh, Aaron Ramsey is going to be out. He's, still, he's got a hamstring injury as well. Um, so, that's a big miss. So, Ramsey is going to be out. Um, but however, Wilshire, listen, he's, 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 done, he's looked very, very good since he's come in. Um, I like the fact that Wilsh is in there. You know, I mean, he's the sort of guy, he knows what these games mean. He'll be driving. Um, he's, he's been playing well, Wilshire. He's been playing well. He's got a point to prove. He wants to get into the England team. This is a big platform for him to, you know, show everybody what he's made of. Okay. And final question, score prediction for the game on Friday? Oh, you know, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, right? I'm going to go for... Three two to Arsenal. Three two to Liverpool's <laughs> my score prediction. Alex Oxley Chamberlain to come off the bench oh, and oh. score the winner, mate. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, let him know, right? He's going to get a lovely welcome when he comes down on Friday night. <laughs> what, what, what's going to happen? There's no atmosphere there, Robbie. Oh, he's going to get. He's going to get absolutely slaughtered, man. I mean, listen, I, I I personally like Ox. You know, I've met him a few times. He's a nice guy, but. Every fan that I've spoken to, they like, you know what? What they remember is the fact that we lost 4 0 to you guys, and then then he's signing for Liverpool. Now he's he's going to get absolutely slaughtered. I heard Klopp's come out with a few comments as well about it. I don't know why Klopp's done that. He's he's put a lot of pressure on Ox. I, I, I don't know. Ox is going to get hammered. It's going to be a great atmosphere. We're going to be up for this. I bet you are. And listen, it's massive in the race for the top four, isn't it? You know, yeah. I think it's wide open this season. It looks to me, early days, of course, it looks to me like it's going to be between Liverpool, Arsenal and Tottenham fighting for that fourth spot. It's disappointing, isn't it, that we're talking about race for top four, you know, and it just shows that, you know, how far, far we are all off the pace um, when it comes to like wow, what Man City are doing this season. But yeah, you're right. It is all about that top four. But um, yeah, it's a huge game for us. Uh, we haven't been, as I said, we haven't been playing great recently, even though we haven't been getting, you know, we, we, we haven't been losing, but it's, it's, we, need, we need to, we need a big result to give us some momentum over this Christmas. Yeah, and, and Liverpool, in fairness, are a team you've struggled against recently. I don't think you've beaten us in the last five. Yeah. We've lost three yeah, and drawn two or something, so yeah. um, it, hopefully it that run continues, um, nah. but we'll find that out on Friday. Going in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robbie, well, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, all right. Enjoy See you your Christmas, but not your Friday. <laughs>